Welcome to Horn Online Training, training module 28.1, WNF Micro. I'm your trainer, Edwin Tunney, training and technical specialist for Horn USA Incorporated. So the first thing to talk about are what are some of the customer benefits of a modular uh, tooling system? So increased uh, production output, you spend less time setting up the machine, organization of the setup process, you're uh, handing the process by one person or a few people in a tool room in some cases, uh, so less, uh, less errors and more consistency. You have reduced impact of operator qualification. So uh, if you have a, a system uh, like the WNF Micro, it's easy to use. Uh, so you have uh, less strain on your uh, production personnel. And then less scrap and higher quality uh, finished parts. So combining high precision and modular in, in one system, definitely a benefit uh, on the shop floor. So as an overview of the system, of uh, the micro system from WNF, uh, which is a partner of Horn, is you have a, a ground uh, shank, which is ground on three sides here. You have the high repeatability and twisting accuracy. So the repeatability is plus or minus three micron. So when you take a head out and you put it back in, it's going to repeat. Uh, within three micron or one uh, tenth. The twisting accuracy uh, you can see helps with your cutting height and your position of your tool. You have a cylindrical support uh, and alignments uh, slot on the WNF micro system. That enables you uh, to uh, fix the tool and not worry that you're going to twist and rotate under higher cutting conditions. The heads on the uh, micro system are also, you have a ground, a ground taper with the cylindrical support, and you have ground contact uh, between the holder and also uh, the modular head. Two coolant ports are available. So you see one here and one is on the back end here. So that uh, enables you to meet uh, whatever system uh, configuration you have with respect to coolant. And then lastly, you have a, a fixation screw, um, making it very simple to change heads in and out, uh, four Newton meters or 35.4 uh, inch pound force. So what you would expect to see on a, on a typical uh, insert uh, screw. You have a lot of uh, precision and stiffness built into the system. Uh, so you have plan contact, uh, with the back of uh, the head and then you have a taper and then the alignment and positioning pin. Um, you have internal coolant so you can feed the tool directly. Uh, you don't have to have secondary coolant lines uh, adjusting and changing those out especially on Swiss machines uh, where everything can be really tight and cumbersome. And then Another benefit, the adapters can be preset and measured outside of the machine. So you pick up an extra holder here, and then you can uh, zero off the holder and then measure the tool. Uh, so you can keep uh, production moving uh, when you're indexing tools. The problem with standard Swiss tooling, uh, it's difficult to change the insert. I know uh, from my knowledge, the most of the time you're taking the entire holder out of the system, cleaning everything and then indexing and then putting it back in. Uh, so uh, there's a lot, a lot of uh, potential for injury inside the machine, a lot of sharp tools uh, as you find with Swiss uh, machining uh, and they're all confined in a very small area. So the other thing is after the tool is changed, uh, setup scrap is possible. Because uh, when this is tightened down, set up, uh, you can have some some error there on a on a Swiss machine. With a micro uh, modular system, um, you're just changing out the heads. So you leave the base holder in. Uh, likewise, you leave all the coolant connections and and everything that needs to be plumbed into the a part 
or into the holder that that stays there and then you're just changing out the heads the um, the adapters as mentioned can be pre-adjusted so you can pre-measure these uh, to swap out for a new setup uh, and then you're you're good to go when you start up you don't have a lot of time uh, qualifying the the position of the tool you have different uh, holder configurations uh, with the micro system. You have uh, your no, sort of normal metric shanks, 10 by 10, 12 by 12. Uh, you also have some inch options, uh, half by half, 16 by 16 on the metric side, 3 8 by 3 8 and 5 8 uh, by 5 8 Again, this is a better view. You can see you have two coolant uh, options here through the side or through the front of the tool or the end, depending on your system. Then you have uh, different head configurations. So uh, with horn tools or horn pocket seats. So if you're already using horn tools, you can uh, insert, you can adapt these to the WNF micro adapters for the S100 uh, inserts, the 224 inserts, the 264, the 274, the 360, and the 356. So a lot of options uh, for uh, tooling just on the horn side. In addition uh, to uh, your square shank holders, you also have access to some round shanks. Uh, so if you wanna adapt this on a, a back working uh, station, or any other uh, place where you would use a round tool. You have a 20 millimeter and a 750 uh, shank round set up with multiple flats and also through coolant. You also have an adjustable. If you want to uh, adjust the stick out amount, you have a 22 millimeter round shank as well as ER holders. So in the case um, where you, you wanna adapt an ER, you can also do that to the WNF Micro, adapt it to WNF Micro as well, um, like you've seen on the WFB. So not only do we have uh, some of our uh, grooving inserts, um, the standard grooving inserts, you also have systems like the 105 and 110 Super Mini. So if you wanna adapt those in the machine, uh, you can do so. You have the same manufacturer WNF, type M is micro, and then the horn series. So just like our uh, regular uh, holders for the Super Mini, which start with B uh, for boring, uh, you can see that you have B105 or you might have B110 and then internal coolant as well. And lastly, on the Super Mini side, um, you have the new uh, wedge clamp system uh, from horn. So that's gonna to adapt to the 105 uh, insert. So high variety of inserts uh, capable uh, with, uh, with the Super Mini. And then you have access to these uh, wedges, which will lock the insert in very, very securely uh, and let you have access from the, the front of the tool to index those. The Mini Turning uh, is also uh, the Mini system from Horn. Mini Turning is also uh, possible on the WNF adapters, the micro adapters. Uh, you have the 106 series, 107, 108, 10P, 11P, 111, and 11P. So these are an increasing uh, size of system. Um, nomenclature is, is very straightforward as, as the others. Uh, the only difference is you have a reach length um, and that's dealing with the, the distance here. You can have a reach length of 00, zero for a standard or zero 01 for a, a longer version. And then as always, IK uh, in horn language means internal coolant. So in the catalog here, uh, very straightforward. Uh, you match the shank size to the head size. And the head size is coming mostly from this B dimension here. Uh, that's where the either the 12 or the 16 uh, system is coming in. You can see it's broken down to you have holders for the 12 size and you have holders for the 16 size of, of shank. 
So if you have smaller type holders, it's going to be a 12. If you have a 5 8 type 16 millimeter holders, it's going to be the 16. Not to be left out, uh, you also have uh, access with the micro adapters uh, to ISO uh, seats. So in this case, this is a JVCR uh, type holder. And just looking at some of the shapes available, uh, you have uh, insert shape C, D, and V. So an 80 degree diamond, 55 degree diamond, and a 35 degree diamond. Very all common uh, to uh, Swiss manufacturing. The clearance angle uh, you have on that is a, is a C, so it's seven degrees. And much the same um, as the other nomenclatures, very easy to follow. You do also uh, have uh, the option for made to order. So if there isn't a front end on, on the tool and you need, you need the WNF adapter for a made to order solution, you can get that done. Uh, what you need is the description of the machine tool, uh, the material and condition, hardness, cutting parameters, uh, the process. Really easiest case is to to provide a part drawing uh, so we can provide the, the best tool, uh, cooling type and pressure, the insert that's needed, the head dimension, if there's any uh, limits uh, on that or the shank size, any kind of interfering uh, contours of the part that need to be accounted for, and then the number of heads and the holders that you need to order. So lastly, uh, just some quick tips on how to apply. Um, as with all precision tooling, when you're exchanging the adapter, make sure everything's clean. Uh, for the best precision, tighten and loosen the taper adapter screw. So this screw here, you wanna snug it down a few times and then back it up and then tighten it to the required torque. That'll just allow everything to normalize and seat very accurately. You wanna lubricate everything uh, with, uh, with light oil uh, just to, to keep, uh, prevent some corrosion. And then uh, use anti-seize on also on this pin That'll help uh, minimize some of the particle intrusion, just tiny microchips getting in uh, from the outside. For the most part, your, you know, your coolant is gonna push that stuff out, but it just helps and helps the uh, tapered screw from, uh, from seizing up. All right, that does it for today's session on WNF uh, micro tools. Please don't forget to subscribe. Uh, so you get alerts when we post new videos. Thanks and have a great day.